Hello everyone. Oh, morning voice. Go over in the corner again is the best option there on the left. Oh, He's coming down here now, Tony. <laughs> Today's video is a wee bit different and it may not be a happy video. I'm kind of just going to show this video, I think, for realities of hill farming, particularly on big enough mountains with cliffs and that. Basically, the last few weeks we've had a yo. Now, we're not 100% sure is this our sheep or is it a neighbour's sheep, um, but we know that there is a sheep and she is stuck on a ledge on the mountain. Uh, we normally do not bother them and see will they manage themselves. Sometimes they go down into these ledges, stay there for a few weeks and back out they come. But we had noticed, number one, that she's woolly. So she was somehow missed during the gathering for shearing, which would probably mean that she could be a weak because she hasn't got a dose. And also just the wool could be potentially restricting her movement. So we kept watching her and after a few weeks we decided that we were sure that she wouldn't get out of there. Um, we have seen sheep get out of that particular ledge before but um, she doesn't seem to be able to budge. So we made the decision to ring Sligo Leitrim Mountain Rescue. Their general um, purpose uh, is to save humans but they have done some sheep rescues before and it's good practice for them too. And they're also very generous people, volunteers that just give up their time to, um, you know, help rescue people or help on mountain um, searches for people. But they also um, are willing to help out in this situation too. We did have the mountain rescue about a week before Christmas Day, but unfortunately we were unsuccessful. It was a very foggy, cold day and it was hard to communicate with the people on top of the rock and below the rock and also with the climbers that were roping down and also the yo was like she was just a typical horned yo mountain yo she was just too wild and they couldn't get near enough to her to catch her so we had to call it a mission failed and pack up which was unfortunate but um, definitely weren't going to take any risks with the guys on the ropes it was too dangerous to follow her over like kind of the edge of the cliff um, but they got down really close to her and it was just unfortunate but I mean they really did try very hard but these amazing people have decided to have a second rescue attempt so they're here today it is a much better day with better conditions today and we're just going to hope that we're a wee bit more successful today than the last day. The mountain rescue and dad has brought um, a lot of equipment on the quad up um, a road to the right and he is going to drop the equipment as far as the quad can go. They're going to walk up the road along with my sister Teresa and uh, pick up their equipment. They're going to come across the top of the mountain and um, basically get the ropes and try and lower themselves down um, onto the cliff. Myself am going to go up the face and just basically come up to the edge of the cliff um, and be looking up at them. So we'll be directly below them, they'll be directly above us. But I'm gonna show you guys quickly where we, um, where the yo is. I'm gonna head on my way, they've already left. So I'm gonna start heading up the mountain now to the very edge of the cliff.
she knows it's happening. She's like, oh, not these lads again. <laughs> Happy out, Joe. <laughs> Jesus, a long pole, isn't it? Oh, easy. Good man. Easy. You're all right. Fair play. Woo! Good man. Oh, look at them for rocks. Hey guys, so it turns out to be good news, thankfully. Um, the yo is actually ours. It's a hugget that we had tagged from last year. Um, just her paint is fairly faded, but it is in fact our tag, so it's delightful um, to see that it is our sheep and we're able to take good care of her and uh, help her get a good recovery. She was very hungry when she came down, which is a good sign um, she's eating, um, but it's probably because there was not a whole lot of grass in that area because she was there for so long on that ledge on the mountain. A big, 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 huge thank you to Sligo Leitrim Mountain Rescue for their valiant efforts. Not only did they come before Christmas, but they came for a second attempt to save the yo. And um, I can't thank them enough. We'll definitely be giving them a, a good donation on their website. I will put a link below to their website if you want to check it out. These are fantastic people, volunteers taking time out of their lives uh, with families and uh, jobs but they just take time out of their lives to to help people and help animals which is just amazing and so generous of them to um, save this sheep and I think you can agree that Tony definitely would make a good sheep uh, farmer the way he grabbed that show he was not letting go was he <laughs> a, a classic dive there Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed looking back on it. And I'm just so glad that the nerves are over and that the sheep is safe and sound. <laughs> so thanks for watching everyone and I'll chat to you again soon.